the, the more complicated spreadsheet up here as well, because um, pe people should realize that this is the sort of final page, if you're familiar with uh, Excel spreadsheets, um, this is just one page of a five or six page complicated Excel spreadsheet uh, in which we looked at specific wells, ranges of production declining at certain rates over different years. Um, you know, at each of the points in the spreadsheets, you need to make assumptions. Uh, and this is the sort of the summary of what what might come. Uh, we did all of this, we made all these calculations at a point when the estimate by the USGS, uh, United States Geological Services, and the EIA, the Energy Information Administration, is that agency, um, uh, was estimating a certain amount of gas in the Marcellus Shale. They have since approximately halved, I believe, their estimates of recoverable gas. So again, we've gone back and tried to build that in a little bit, but um, these numbers could be all over the place. But you know, as, as Don showed you, even if you double or triple um, the numbers, they're not way up where uh, where industry would like us to believe they all will be. And they are um, the, the, the estimated unit of production value is calculated based on a five-year running average of what the prices the industry is seeing. Uh, so those are falling. So at the end of all of this, do, do, do we expect to see a net income to our towns? Uh, will uh, the county or municipalities, we were looking in Tompkins County, but you could look anywhere, um, gain in dollars? And uh, the answer is, it depends. Um, <laughs> And it depends on a lot of things. Um, we looked at, well, what, what has been experienced in other places. Now, Bradford County in Pennsylvania has since seen some more income, but when we were looking in April of, uh, April of 2011, and hopefully they'll release new figures soon, um, they had issued 1,700 permits to drill uh, to that date, of which there were only 240 producing wells. So again, you you know you need to make assumptions about how quickly will they drill in your town, uh, how many of those wells will produce, and how much will they produce before you can uh, go in, into the uh, put, put any numbers into those uh, calculators. Uh, we have heard the Chesapeake which is the big driller in this area, is moving rigs to other states. Uh, the price influence on production timing. Uh, the industry strategy for the Northeast was developed at a time when the price of gas on the national and international markets was up at $12 a unit. And uh, sometimes those units are expressed as British thermal units, sometimes they're expressed uh, in cubic feet, but in any case, the order of magnitude, what we're seeing in the, in the order of drop, the order of magnitude is such that um, break-even pricing is estimated at four to seven dollars per unit, and the gas price is currently at, well, it was at 250 when I wrote this slide, updated this slide, and now then it was down to 232, it may be back up to, it was up to 220 something, maybe it's up to 232 now. But it is that that's a very big different big difference. Um, closer to home, uh, just this week, as a result of publicity for this session, I got an email from somebody in the Spencer Van Etten School District, uh, and this is not Marcel Shale drilling. This is vertical drilling existing wells. Um, the production has dropped in the wells in the town of Erin. Uh, have dropped to the extent that the tax revenue estimates used, in this case it was by the school district, uh, turned out to be an error by the time the tax bills were sent. So if you go back to the uh, time lag chart, we're budgeting in the year before any of this is on this chart, the 
drilling is happening in that first year, the, uh, the <coughs> school taxes are determined, the school district is, is estimating and budgeting in year two, which is what the Spencer Van Etten School District did based on the fact that these Aaron wells in the town of Aaron were producing at a certain rate and determined the budget. Well, by the time the tax bill went out, it turned, based on assessments, it turned out that those wells, the production figures that were reported by the DEC back to the assessment department, had come in so much lower that people's tax bills raised by 25 to 40% on individual properties. So that's the kind of uncertainty that one can see in, the, in this market. Um, I'll also point out that the industry models themselves, they make money based on the 20%, and this, this is you know, open, uh, it's not a secret, um, based on expect expectations that about 20% of the wells that they drill will be the good producers. And their financial models work <coughs> on, that, on that model. Uh, they'll, they'll drill in various towns, 20% of the wells are, are good producers, they make money. Um, uh, you need to make an assessment about how, do you think that your town is in that sweet spot? They don't know in advance where those sweet spots will be. Bradford County, Susquehanna County turned out to be those sweet spots. Uh, if you are in the 80% of towns that either uh, that, that that aren't in those sweet spots, you will not see the kind of numbers that will support the revenues you've got to expend. And some of your wells, if you're in a town where the wells come up dry, you can see all of the expenses and none of the, um, none of the revenue. Uh, if you're a town next to a town that, uh, that has well drilling and you don't have any, um, under, again, under the current, current system, and we're hoping New York State will go to a system that distributes the income a little bit better um, at the state level, from the state level, uh, you, you, you wouldn't necessarily see anything. Uh, from further afield, Denton, Texas reported, uh, its assessment department reported last year that uh, there was a 28% decrease in assessed value of property over a 10-year period, even during a period in which there was a 53% increase in uh, production of gas. So you have 53% more gas coming out of the ground, but the assessment rolls, the, the, the total value of the property in the county because of market forces ended up decreasing uh, to the extent that they were having trouble meeting their revenues. So it's a complicated question. Uh, I think we've covered all of that. So the process uh, that New York State will go through. We brought, we started to bring this information to New York State a year ago in the spring. Um, as we went to talk to people in New York State in the governor's office, in uh, the legislative offices and administrative offices, uh, we were told, and at that point there was a lot of talk about the EIS and environmental factors, and there would be, they were willing to engage in conversation on that, but on this taxation items in particular, they were very clear that they were not ready to talk about that, that we should be assured that when they were, they would be coming to the public to engage in a discussion. <laughs> Uh, and that we would be some of the first to know. I mean, they were interested and intrigued by some of these things. We didn't have this much detail by a long shot, but we certainly had the time lag information done, saw that immediately, and uh, was patient as our committee went, got uh, involved, involved in the mortgage lending issues, which were quite timely, and some of the other issues that, that, that were needing to be addressed by the EIS process. And uh, then when so we, we didn't have as much to talk about, but they said that they would come back to us because what we were talking about was intriguing. And we never heard back. The next that we saw was more recently when the Gannett newspaper from Albany, the Albany Time Union, 
uh, reported that eight options had been presented to the governor's panel on to advisory panel on, on gas drilling. Um, in eight options for state level new fees and taxes, and asked to review them. Now that panel hasn't met since that was presented. We have sent the paper to them. We've already heard back. We heard back literally within a day or two from three members of that said eight member panel um, who are interested. We're hoping to get to go and present this to the panel directly, uh, but we can't be the only ones. We would like to see an open, transparent process for going through all of this, for discussing uh, with public feedback. We'd like to see a process whereby the options under discussion are presented to the public, that the kinds of people who work with our committee but know this on a state or theoretical level uh, have the chance to weigh in, have, to have the chance to go in front of hearings uh, and weigh in and talk about uh, the pros and cons of the various methods of cost recovery. We think that's important to do with the time frame to do it. Property and land valuation. People ask us a lot, you know, will my property go up or down? I hope it's become apparent that we can't really predict that at this point, that it will be uneven, uh, and that uh, stuff we haven't talked about today that others talk about is the boom-bust cycle. So that even for those towns that see the boom, that see the kind of uh, higher numbers that are possible under these scenarios, uh, even under the current scenario not changed at all, eventually see a bust and, uh, and shouldn't be building the, the money into their operating budget. So our conclusions, New York State must establish a severance tax and higher permit fees. Uh, that Both of those must be shared with local governments. We need to establish accurate, verifiable methods to measure the output of gas. We should be looking at that UPV formula in a public, open, transparent way. We need to address the time lag and, and not start issuing permits. And we ask your towns, uh, you personally, uh, this shouldn't happen, this shouldn't be allowed to, to be discussed at the state level. There's got to be an open discussion. And like the other issues associated with new activities, any new activities, feel free to weigh into the governor, to the panel, uh, to write letters to if you're a municipality, if you're an official, uh, pass resolutions weighing in, spread the word, and you can go to our website for the actual, uh, what's it, 15-page version of the paper with more detail here. So thank you.